Real Hi-Fi help. Wanted to show you my uh, my new speaker. This is going to be my final speaker, the last speaker I will probably ever have. Um, yeah, it's it's a fantastic speaker. It's the the Top Line Audio Note E series. They make about eighteen models, and um, this one is about uh, I think around the the ninth model from the top. It's the A N E. S P E H E. Um, the, the sound is just um, breathtaking. Uh, I really don't know how to describe the sound. It just has everything in it. And I've listened to thousands of speakers, and there were some other speakers that were um, four, five, maybe even ten times more expensive than this speaker and and they had some qualities that at times uh, seemed a tiny bit better but um, I would say overall this is the only speaker that I've heard that has all the glue that keeps all of the tracks that you own together so it has the uh, the ultimate clarity integration soul it will tell you exactly what's going on with your uh, uh, your setup uh, without being analytical or harsh it's a very special speaker like no other speaker on the market uh, let me just quickly show you something notice this i have done something very special i've parked this first of all i've used the the lower stand uh, stands that, that come with the speaker. I feel that when you do that you get the speaker lower towards the ground and you can create a bit more bass. That's how I feel. Um, what I've done is I've taken some yoga mat here as you can see I'm pointing to. <laughs> so that's basically yoga mat and some what do you call it some kind of cardboard ceiling thingy so yoga mat on, on both sides, got the spikes on. This gives a much more nice, comfortable and slow bass. So I definitely recommend doing this. This really gives it a unique, unique sound. And of course, use the, the bubble gum that comes with, I think it's called blue tack. Yeah, I think it's called blue tack. Use that blue tack that comes with the speaker. Uh, that's perfect. That, that that just really gives you perfect uh, sound. Now, if you don't want this slightly softer sound that, that settles a bit more, then you don't have to use these small bases that I've created. Um, then you can just put them directly onto the floor. I just wanted to, to spare the, the floorboards and have a response that wasn't quite as firm and, and hard. So it's it's about the priority of what you decide to, to go for when owning the speaker. Well, let me tell you a secret about the speaker. Let's go to the back here. A unspoken secret of audio note. We've got two settings with this uh, speaker if you use the built-in clips. The one that I've used is the low frequency setting where, where I have the speaker cable that gives a more see where it connected right now low frequency that gives a more settled slow comfortable warm-ish sound I recommend this really uh, a lot because this is a very revealing speaker you can of course go for the other side and put the speaker cable into that if you have single wire like me but it gives you a priority that is more, how can I say this? It makes the speaker a tiny bit more clearer, faster responding, and it moves the whole priority from the lower end going towards the top and, and parks the sound a bit more in the middle. It's a more neutral sound, 
I'm not so crazy about that type of sound. It's a bit too fast for me. <clears throat> it's a bit more fresh. It's a bit more clear. Um, but I'm just, I'm just saying to the owners of the speaker, you can create some very different sounds trying these two different settings on the back and then on the bottom. Plus, you can also take the higher uh, stands. Uh, I think it costs probably a tiny bit extra getting those uh, with the speaker. But for me, uh, th this is the perfect setup. And also notice when you have this speaker on a... Uh, when you have it on, on floorboards, it gives a very nice, lively, warmish sound. Very lively. Now notice that the floorboards basically everywhere. Okay, so that what what that's going to do is it's going to make the sound a bit more alive and bouncy, and give it a bit more flavor and pizzazz. And not all people like that. If you have the the entire floor covered with a carpet, of course those re reflections aren't going going to be there. And you're going to get a more warm, dead, earthy sound. And that's also good in, in, a, in a totally different way. Okay, but it's going to sound a lot more like an MDF, standard MDF cabinet speaker. So it's just to tell the people that when you have the speaker, it isn't locked into a certain type of sound. You can create a lot of different sounds knowing the pieces of information I've just given you. This is one thing. You can, of course, also go for the option of by wiring it. That's a very good option. I would personally only use that option if you're going for a audio note by wire speaker cable, like, for example, the audio note top model uh, copper model. I think it's called audio note Isis uh, something. Um, very good speaker cable, probably one of the best uh, copper speaker uh, copper speaker cables out there. So just to give an idea of what you can do, how you can shape the the entire sound. Now, what I've done here is I've basically just powered this thing up with a an audio note auto uh, amplifier, which is plenty. Uh, Plenty powerful for this speaker. So that's that's about a 10 amp, uh, 10 watt, uh, 10 watt uh, amplifier. Uh, perfect for the job. You can also go for a much um, much more weak amplifier. Maybe one of the old uh, Audio Note Maestro 300B amplifiers. Uh, 10 or 20 year old model they're a lot more um, warm and, and slow in sound and uh, even with a weak amplifier like that that's about 8 watts you can you can easily power up a, a big room that's 40 to 50 uh, square meters um, just wanted to say with this speaker that it has a very unique quality of being able to focus on the human qualities of all the music that you possess. So typically when you have a good speaker, like for example, my old speaker here, this is a very good uh, Verity Audio speaker. I think it's called Rienzi. I had it modified and it got even better. Um, a totally different type of speaker. Um, very good hi-fi sound. Um, a typical, I don't know, 20,000 pound uh, speaker um, that costs about 20,000 20, pounds. Yeah, typical sound like that, hi-fi sound. Good, has a lot of good things uh, in it. But when you, when you get over to this speaker, that's actually quite a bit uh, cheaper. You start connecting to a sound that I've never heard before. And I've been to audio shows and I've listened to speakers that cost uh, a couple of hundred 
thousand uh, dollars, and um, yeah, some of them had some few qualities that that were better than my speaker here. Um, but I have to say, overall, it it just couldn't. The they generally can't connect all the pieces together, so you can end up listening to all of your music <clears throat> for a long period of time. This speaker seems to have the ability of piecing everything together in a very human-like way, so that your your brain thinks this is the real thing. It it just doesn't get more real than this. I know speakers like, for example, uh, Top Verity speakers, uh, and especially Top Martin Design speakers. They have the ability to focus on raw detail, intensity, and really, really high solu uh, resolution. This speaker might not quite be able to do that, but you still don't feel it uh, lacking anything because it's just the most balanced speaker that I've ever heard. Um, and you will be doing yourself a big disservice by not uh, using this speaker with uh, a tube amplifier. And I've also tried uh, quite a bit of, of tube amplifiers out there and I seem to be constantly going back to Audionote because what Audionote do with their amplifiers really matches the Audionote speakers and it just it just clicks. There's, there's no negotiation there's no mold. What what I find often with most speakers is that you always get either a very hi-fi analytical sound or this slightly moldy, restrictive uh, warmth, um, which I consider a, a lower class of, 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 of realness, uh, almost like... Um, someone trying to spare you of all the really, um, what's it called, delicate details, you know, and just want to you know, round it up and, you know, ma make sure it doesn't get out of control, make sure it doesn't uh, screech at you or uh, do anything that's unpleasant, you know, and it, it never really releases the the sound. This is the only type of speaker that I've heard that has everything in it. It's just so revealing, it's ridiculous. And it's also ridiculous the amount of bass that you can get from this relatively small speaker. I mean, it goes down to 18 hertz and you can really hear that. Most speakers that I've owned have only gone down to around 30 hertz. And when you break that wall of 30 hertz, going down to around 25, huge things start to happen in regards to bass, release of energy, and you know, really feeling that that there's something something singing to uh, to you, uh, being really authentic and, and genuine. And when you go below 25 hertz in response. When you have a speaker that's able to reproduce sounds that go below that, towards around 20 or a bit below that, it just becomes magical. The The, the speaker just disappears. And um, just wanted to share you share this uh, information with you guys because I, I consider this basically this model that I have here, one of the, I'm pretty sure... Uh, this is definitely one of the top 20 speakers uh, in the entire world. Um, and that's even uh, considering all the the really big, expensive, impressive speakers. And there are speakers out there that can really deliver a lot more punch and bass. But I just don't find them ever making, you know normal music tracks uh, appealing and, and gluing everything together so you get that human-like quality. You know, it always comes out 
somehow in some kind of crooked hi-fi um, it always goes into some kind of hi-fi direction and after a while having owned some of these really expensive speakers um, I just feel that there's like an emptiness where you don't feel like this is the the genuine thing that they're playing real instruments and, and you feel the 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 wooden effect from from how the strings uh, on the for example the the uh, the guitar reacts with the wood on the uh, guitar so with this speaker this is the first speaker where where I've actually been able to hear like fifty or more different types of uh, guitars from all kinds of artists like Joe Bonamassa and uh, Joe Satriani and Steve Vai and Jeff Beck and, and all those type of people, B.B. King and, and, and so on. There's like an inner um, tuned in ability to deal with artistry intention. That's the thing. Intention. You can hear the intention of the artist that's playing the music and I've never ever heard of, heard this before when I dealt with speakers like this and this is also one of the pretty good speakers out there you know um, it always comes over to information and then when when you, when you start listening to the same soundtrack with this speaker it's, it's no longer an information it's no longer uh, sounds coming out of a speaker the, the speaker is basically not there. You're listening to the, the raw, unfiltered, true, authentic sound with this uh, speaker. And I must say that the... I think, I think this particular model here, I've heard a lot of AudioNote speakers through the years, and I have to say AudioNote ESPE... H E, I would say that's the speaker in the world that probably gives you the most value for your money. Now, let's say that you owned this speaker and you connected it to let, let's just take take something random: Macintosh amplifier, Passlabs amplifier, Krill amplifier. It would sound horrible. Okay, it it it, it would. I've actually tried doing that several times. And you would get the immediate impression that this speaker, there's something wrong with it. No, there isn't. The, the thing that's wrong with this speaker is that it is such a high quality of production that it simply does not speak with a lot of the other equipment that's out there. And I'm talking equipment where manufacturers make a ten to hundred or two hundred thousand dollar amplifier. That's not even good enough to communicate with this. So if you've got this speaker, this is a very, very revealing, naturally warm, has everything in it type of speaker. Do not use this with transistor equipment. You have to be really, really lucky in order to make it sound good. I have heard it once or twice sound good, but that's out of probably a hundred setups that I've heard with with, with this uh, type of speaker. So don't bother with it, you know, it's not worth it. And this speaker will be able to tell you what's exactly uh, in your amplifier. You'll be able to hear if there's a bad plug, if there's a, a, a cable that, that isn't really good enough, um, if there's something wrong with your DAC, your CD player, it's just ridiculous the amount of, of detail that it reveals. And it's just, it's so honest and at the same time so, so naturally warm. I've never ever experienced that. I've always had a speed speaker that's been either or. 